Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 2024 Apple event, what they unveiled at the event itself, and how this will affect you as an Affinity client. Um, some of the deals and promotions I'm hoping to see from Xfinity Mobile and much more. So stay tuned for the video. So yes, with that intro out of the way, Apple just unveiled their new lineup for the iPhone 16 family on September the 9th of 2024. And with this lineup, they have a myriad of accessories to go with it. So obviously, they did unveil the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max. But with this, they're also announcing the AirPods Gen 4. A lot of exciting features with that. Stay tuned for a video dedicated just for explaining the new AirPods. Next is going to be the Apple Watch Series 10 with again, a myriad of new features that have never been seen before in previous Apple Watches. And of course, it's gonna be a dedicated video depending when this one is released, maybe at the top right corner um, with a little uh, screen card. So be sure to check that out after watching this, of course. And they did also announced some news about the Apple Maxes, uh, the AirPod Maxes, I mean, excuse me, uh, which I'm personally a humongous fan for, and I am looking to grab them. So with that being said, what I want to touch on first is going to be some of the Xfinity mobile promotions I'm hoping to see. Now, uh, the first topic I want to touch on is actually not going to be cell phone related, nor is it going to be Apple Watch related. It's actually going to be about the AirPods. So, when the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 launched um, a few months ago, alongside with the new um, foldables, we at Xfinity got them for $180 when they are retailing right now for $239 to $249 depending on where you go like Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, Target. They may have differential prices. Um, by Xfinity Mobile, you are able to grab them for $179.99. So I'm hoping to see that implemented with the Apple Watch, excuse me, the Apple AirPods Series 4 because of two things. The MSRP of the new AirPods are roughly looking about 169, 159-ish from what I saw at the Apple event, which means if Xfinity Mobile brought them to their lineup for cell phones, and offered an iPhone 16 bundle of some sort, putting the AirPods maybe at 129. This would be a great seller, both for Xfinity's end, but also a great reward for Xfinity Mobile's loyal clientele. Now, do I expect this to honestly happen? No, because uh, AirPods are a very low profit margin item even the major retailers, they rarely make money from them because they sell them right next to Apple's price. But they do hope that you are going to pick up different accessories for the AirPods, which is why they carry them. So I have like AirPod cases, AirPod little filters for the ear parts so you don't get all the gunk in there, uh, cleaners. They're hoping you buy this with the product so they actually start to make money. Most of the time, they're actually losing money when they're selling AirPods or Apple accessories in general because they buy them for roughly the same price Apple sells them for and they don't really sell them for much higher than MSRP because then they know you're not going to buy them. So I doubt this is a promotion where you're going to see at Xfinity Mobile, uh, but fingers crossed for that. Now with the Apple Watch Series 10, this is another item I want to see under promotion. Uh, currently, 
Xfinity Mobile is running a promotion for all their smartwatches. $150 off if you are a Platinum. No, excuse me, actually, that's $300. $300 for our Platinum and Diamond Tier subscribers. And for our Gold and Silver Tier, you get $150 off guaranteed. So, um, for one, if you're shopping Apple Watches and you do have Xfinity Mobile as your current cell phone provider, I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking advantage of that promotion. Uh, the only limitation is you have to finance it through Xfinity Mobile, but most of the time, if you have a $300 off code, you can actually get an, a, a Series SE on Xfinity Mobile. You won't pay anything for the watch. You'll only pay for the service monthly, about $10 plus tax for a brand new SE series watch. So that's a steal, especially if you are currently with Xfinity Mobile. Now, if you're looking to switch and you have their home internet, you can still take advantage of that offer. But what I want to see Xfinity Mobile implement when the series 10 launches is maybe another bundle because bundles are the best with Xfinity Mobile. Maybe if you get the new 16, you could get a Series X on Xfinity Mobile or half off the Series X. Um, I knew, actually I know they did also announce the Ultra 2 in a color redesign, the black titanium. So maybe implement that with a 16, maybe get it half off. When you get a brand new 16 through Xfinity Mobile Finance, um, these are the promotions that people want to see, Xfinity. So we need to start bringing them to the people. Uh, but the big one, the big, big one is going to be the iPhone 16 um, and what promotions they possibly may have with Xfinity Mobile. So usually when a new iPhone launches from what I remember with the 14 and the 15, as long as I've been there since October of 22, they did a $500 off with either a trade-in as a current client or as a new customer. So you could get up to $500 off a brand new iPhone 16, any model with trading in your old phone. And it's up to 500. It's not a guaranteed 500 because they do evaluate your phone prior um, based on model and condition. And condition is quite strict with Hesherian. So if you have any cracks, they will not accept it. Um, scratches, it has to be extremely, extremely light. Or again, they will not accept your trade-in. And then it's not worth it for you at that point because you had the expectations of getting a certain dollar amount off of the iPhone 16. So, with that being said, what I want to see Xfinity Mobile do is save up to $830 off with a trade-in or save $500 off with a port in. So what does this mean for you? Either as a new Xfinity Mobile client or a returning existing client. For my existing clients, I want to see the option for $830 off an iPhone 16 with trade-in. And this should be both for new and existing customers. We both need the same love. So what this means for you is, if you're looking to buy a new iPhone 16, the base model, two cameras, and you trade in your phone, up to $830 off, which is the cost of an iPhone 16. Again, this means you can get the iPhone 16 brand new for free. The only thing you cover out of pocket is the device taxes and the first monthly installment. That's it. And you get a brand new iPhone 16 for free. Now, I want to see this for, again, both new and existing clientele. And I want to see this for the entire iPhone 16 family. So up to $830 off with a trade-in for any of the 16s. 16, 16 Plus, Pro, or Pro Max. To me, it's only fair. But 
if they are going to do up, up to 830 off, most likely it's going to be just for the iPhone 16 alone. Um, but with that being said, that's okay. They can do that for the iPhone 16 alone. That definitely will bring a lot of attention to Xfinity Mobile because, again, brand new phone. Who doesn't want it? Especially with all the AI features and the improvement to the cameras this year. Now, if they were to go that route, what I want to see for the other three models, the Plus, Pro, and Pro Max, is a save $500 off with a port in. So this would kind of alienate the existing clientele, unless they had a line to bring over from a different company. Um, say they only moved one line over and they still have two more. Those two can qualify for the up to 500 off. Um, but for the original person that moved over, there's no way for him to qualify. And for the trade-in option to be a cash value on top of the $500 off port. So this is also going to be available for our new clientele only, but you can get $500 off from switching from your current carrier, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, or any prepaid carrier. Get $500 off the new iPhones, and it should include the base model 16 as well. And you can trade in the old phone for a cash value as a check. So sometimes this can honestly add up to more than $830. And it's going to make more sense for you to go about it this route. So with that being said, play your cards right. Um, all my people that are looking to upgrade to the iPhone 16, it's almost time. The phone will be officially for sale September 20th. So mark that date on your calendars. I'm ready to get mine. Are you ready to get yours? And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Here's a little call to action. Make sure if you like my content, you hit the subscribe button. Um, we have a plethora of goofy content. Um, also informative content, mostly with Xfinity Mobile and tech products in general. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, do all the good stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all that, all that, yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.